So we gave you a summary of what we've seen so far of the earnings. Is it in line with what you expected? Uh, broadly, yes. I think uh, the debate, as you indicated on Exxon, has been the capital spending. And uh, what is true for the industry, I think, is not necessarily true for Exxon. And that is, uh, this is an industry that, uh, over long periods of time, has not generated good returns on invested capital. So investors want to see companies be very judicious with capital spending. In the case of Exxon, they have many uh, high-returning, uh, high-potential projects. So if they're investing capital into good projects, then uh, we don't have any issue with that. You know, one of the things we were wondering whether we would hear from Eddie at this stage was the prospect of buybacks if you're a shareholder right now. And we were talking earlier about, as, a, as an industry as a whole, the sheer underperformance that we've seen relative to the underlying asset and oil price moves in particular. Is it just that the broader sentiment here has been so negative and investors have been burnt that getting more comfortable with these guys just takes time? I think that's a lot of it. Uh, I think uh, in Exxon's case in particular, they've been a fairly guarded company when it comes to what they, the information they share with investors. That seems like it's changing. They're uh, having a more transparent approach to how they engage with their shareholders, sharing a bit more information. I think that will go over well. Um, but it's, yeah, you're right, it's been a tough industry and I think people, uh, people are wary. Uh, so despite high oil prices, people question how sustainable those are and whether companies can generate good returns and, uh, and get some of that money back to shareholders over time. So, and I'm also curious about the production level, because when the oil prices are up, you want to get as much of it out of the ground as you can. As I said, we had at least as an estimate of a little bit over 4 million barrels of oil per day, about 4.074. The reports right now are that they actually came in a little bit under 4 million. How concerned are you about the difficulties in getting production out of the ground? Because actually, they, they actually had some problems back in the fourth quarter as well. Yeah, you know, the, it's hard to, we'll, we'll see what they have to say on the call on that topic, but, uh, uh, it, you know, the, the, they're, they're running many, many projects around the world in some of uh, some difficult uh, areas, both politically and in terms of the environment that they're operating in. So uh, you can have weather-related issues and other things that, that slow things down. It, I, I'm not overly concerned about that. I think uh, Exxon in particular has uh, very strong engineers, very strong uh, technical uh, processes and so on, and uh, they're, they're one of the best in the world at, at doing this. So uh, I think over time they'll, they'll sort that out.